Hey guys, Shano Sander here, and in this quick video, I will show you my full soul fight against Heroic Razor Wing Karabakh, as well as give you a few quick tips on how to defeat her yourself. From facing the normal Razor Wing, you would know that firstly, she's annoying but very useful to farm for her gear, and secondly, she's definitely a female since she spits out small bugs which screw you up and cock block all of your attacks. No, seriously, try doing a full axe charge attack, you're like one charge, two charges, and cock block, you do nothing. So yeah, everyone who thinks any form of Karabakh is a male one, go see a doctor or better go see a veterinarian or a behematologist. Let's begin with uh, the gear I used. I used my fancy sparkling build for breaking behemoth parts, which you can find more information about in the description down below. There will be two links, one to my video showcasing the build and what you need for it, and a second link to Dauntless Builders for all those lazy country bumpkins that do not want to listen to my beautiful voice and just want to see the build. But really quickly, I would mention that you need Bloodfire Sword, Reza Helmet, Razor Wing Chest, Reza Arms, Razor Wing Legs, and Drask Lantern. Again, Check the links for the full in-depth details. Excluding that build, there are a few other important things you have to know before choosing what to use to face Razor Wing in heroic version. Use either a blaze or a shock weapon. The first reason for this is that all bugs should burn to death in flames so they can be purified and not annoy anyone, especially those like Razor Wing, which are a mutated chimera made from mixing a fly, a stag beetle, and an angry pissed quote Samuel L. Jackson Hornet. Second reason, don't you just love the buzz sound when a fly or mosquito hits the fly zapper? A moment just as priceless as shock staggering Razor Wing with the shock weapon. Third reason, all jokes aside, Razor Wing does have a weakness towards blades and shock, and both elements benefit you a lot for killing him faster, easier, and with more body parts destroyed than with a normal weapon. Now, if you're bad at evading behemoth attacks, you should use Rage Tail Gear since it has most defensive stats and it also has the Bloodless stat which I hope all of you already know what it helps for, but for those simple-minded monkeys from the player base which just pass through the game with luck, lots of swearing and yelling that the game is unbalanced and the behemoths are way too tough and not easy at all, I will remind them that Heroic Razor Wing does crippling wounded debuff with his attacks, which is an upgraded version of the wounded debuff. You can dispel it the same way as the normal wounded debuff, but in order to be immune to it, you need the bloodless stat to plus 6. Oh, and it also deals a lot more damage than the normal wounded one, so bear that in mind. Excluding Rage Tail gear and bloodless stat, I suggest using Moon River gear and going for conditioning, endurance, and agility, which are all good defensive stats for using against Razor Wing. Regardless if you go for a defensive or offensive stat, the fight will last almost the same amount of time, give or take 2 3 minutes of different. The only consumables I think is necessary for this fight is Stamina Tonic, the rest is up to you. Pylons are completely useless from my point of view because of the constant moving of Razor Wing. And Stamina Ponic is useful because I find myself struggling with Stamina, that might just be me, but I'd advise everyone to take up the Stamina Tonic. For the lucky few who have the tragic Echo Exotic Helmet unlock, just go and take that helmet. Put a lot of rage, a lot of loud frenzy stats, build combined with a shroud weapon or any other high level weapon and rip the nasty bug to pieces in a matter of seconds. This is everything for this video guys and girls, if you enjoyed it then please leave me a thumbs up, if you have something to discuss drop me a comment down below, share the video as you see fit and remember to follow me on Twitch and Twitter at the link down below, as well as subscribe here for more video game and music content.